this project I'm gonna use this pattern and you can see this is the side of the pencil case so you need to do twice you mean and I'm gonna show you where to start and how to continue the pattern and you can take a screenshot and use this pattern and this is the number of rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and you're gonna start from this point here and you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 chain you need to do first initially and then you need to do some double crochet so all these lines have double crochet and this chain 3 is acting as a first double crochet and then in each chain you can see there's the double crochet in this one the last the first one there are one two three four five and six seven I think three six seven double crochet and then continue back to here when you're back to this point starting from here going around and here and then chain three and continue the round like this and then again chain three and then continue the round and then chain three each time new round a new chain and then I'm gonna show you now I'm gonna use this red yarn and a four millimeter hook so I'm gonna slip knot and chain seven one two three four four five six seven so here's a seven chain you need to skip the first four one two three four and in the next two you need to do two double crochet so one and the next one one and in the first this chain you need to do seven double crochet so one two three four five six and seven so you can now check it starting from this and going around and then you need to do the last three the last three stitches you need to do double crochet so it's one two and then three that's what you created here you go after this first round now we are here and if we chain three and then continue this pattern and I'm going to show you in the next so to start the round you need to chain three chain three acting like a double crochet so you need to avoid doing any double crochet in the first one always continue from the second one the next two I'm going to do double crochet so one and two and you can see the next seven stitches that we did in the same stitch here the next seven you need to do in each of these seven you need to do two double crochet so that's going to be an increase so one and two and then continue two 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 in the next six again so one two so and then continue so continue until you are left with um, the last three so one two three until this point all these stitches you need to do two in each so that's how the pattern works you can even see here the second round 
until you have these three left you need to do two in each this coming from the same stitch means that you have to do two in the same you can see so that's how you're going to continue until here and the last three stitches I'm going to do just double crochet in each Okay, that's the end of round two. So you can see. So now for the round three, you can see I'm here here. Chain three, and then again next three you need to do double crochet. One two three, and then two one two one two one. This is the pattern two one two one two one until you're here and left with three stitches here and then you finish off. It's easy if you follow this chart, this pattern. Otherwise you'll get confused and miss out stitches and it might not be even. So I'm gonna show you the next round and then you can just follow this pattern. So <coughs> chain three and turn the work skip the first one and the chain is, sh is showing three double crochet in the next three so I'm gonna go one and then two and three then the pattern says you need to do two in the next one and then one in the next two one so I'm gonna do two in the same one and two and then one in the next one and then two again one two and continue so I finished round three and I'm gonna continue until round seven because I'm not gonna be make it that big so I'm gonna do around to round seven and see you then I'm back with my seven rounds done. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can make it bigger if you want, but for me that's enough. And I'm gonna finish off not by doing a uh, like the pattern says a whole round of single crochet, but I'm gonna do just single crochet in this. So I'm gonna do I finished here. So I finished my round here. I'm gonna do a chain one. Oops and in each of the uh, double crochet you can see this this I'm gonna do two single crochet in these two so here is your first one so go in do a single crochet that's your first single crochet then go into the next and do a single crochet so you can see for each of the double crochet I'm gonna do two so if I've got on this part seven row and the other part seven so I should have 14 14 28 total of 28 single crochet so I'm gonna continue now go into the next do a single crochet go into the next and another one so I've got four in over the last two these two and then continue all the way Using this 4mm hook and this green color yarn, I'm going to start my second part. If you check, this is the pattern I'm going to follow. So, you can see from this, from the beginning of the pattern, I'm going to start with the 5 chain. Those little dots are my chains. And then, I'm going to do a double crochet. So, these rounds the second third they will consist on increase at the end of each round uh, sorry each row so when I'm ending this row starting and ending you can see the increase so I'm gonna show you how to do this part now so if you want to take a screenshot you can take okay and now I'm gonna continue 
so I'm going to slip knot and do chain 5 so slip knot chain 1 2 3 4 5 I'm going to skip the first 3 chain and sorry the 4 chain actually and in the last one I'm going to do a double crochet so go into the last one and do a double crochet so here you go so you've got this one the chain and this double crochet so there's two because the chain will be always counted as the double crochet and now the second round I'm going to continue with the increase so you do chain three one two and three turn your work in the first one you need to do a double crochet and in the second one here you need to do two double crochets Sorry. one and two so you can see I've done my first two rows the first and second I'm going to continue until seven and then check so next two round is again increase the first and the last so I have to do two in those ones so let's continue so I'm going to do chain three each time and it, that will be my first double crochet and in the same stage I'm going to do again another double crochet so that will make an increase and then I have to continue next two stitches I'm going to do a double crochet in each one and then the next one to another one so two and then the chain three that I did here I'm going to do two double crochet so one And two so here you go now the next round similar chain three do double crochet in the same one continue until the last one so there is four you need to do four double crochet one Two, three, four, and in the last chain three here again you need to do two double crochet one and two that's it and the next round is going to be just plain single crochet in each of them actually next two rounds so round five and six going to be only single uh, only double crochet in each of them so and i'm gonna chain three that will be my first double crochet i'm gonna skip that one the first one go into the second one and do all the way around a double crochet and then i can continue another round or like this and then come back So I did my sixth round here, finished with it. And now if you can if you see my seventh round is going to be an increase round. The first and last stitch you need to do two double crochet and obviously you need to count the chain two, chain three. If there is a chain three that means this is a double crochet, so you need to do just one. So like this, the seventh round increase and then another round without the increase. Then again another round the eight nine those two rounds are without increase and then the tenth again increase and then continue if you follow this chart you should run the round 14 with everything with all the increase done and from this point on you have to do the other way which is going to be the decreased round I'm going to show you this round 
but until here you should be all right just doing this now if you see this seventh round here so I'm going to do the chain three one two three and then same one increase continue and then the last one two double crochet so this way I'm going to continue until the round 14 here following it and if you're making a bigger bigger one you can continue this 14th round more times few more times to get to make it bigger and then start your decreased round but I need actually 14 rounds and that's it after the 14 round I'm gonna go straight to the 15 and then from 15 to 28 all those rounds include some um, decrease so it's like opposite to this side so this decrease will be done by doing two double crochet together so this is the stitch that you need to follow and it's whenever we did the increase in these stitches you need to do here the decrease means two together so by following this you'll be exactly to this point like here and that is your base practically so I'm gonna continue from 15 which is again a double crochet round and then you can follow you can see the decrease so I'll show you <coughs> I've already done my round 15 a round of double crochet now I'm going to show you this round if you can follow this one then you can go ahead without any guide so I have to do chain 3 chain 1 2 and 3 turn your work so you're not going to work in the first one go into the second one and do it double crochet and every time in the last two stitch you're going to do two double crochet together so these are similar so you go on when I'm in, in this point I'm going to show you how to do the two together so we have back with my last two stitch so you have to yarn over go in and then come back three loops go into the first two so you're not going to complete but you need to yarn over and go into the next one next stitch yarn over and you have to yarn over go to the first two you'll have three left yarn over and go th through all three so that's your two together and you can see the decrease so it's going this way so if you can see my 16 round done 17 is in each stitches you need to do a double crochet when you're in this point you just need to work in this one not the chain three anymore because <coughs> that's a decrease so you don't work in here but only here. so that's how you have to continue until you are here in this point and that's it you can complete your work so I'm gonna show you you have to chain three doing each of these a double crochet the first one you don't do and the second one and then continue doing your double crochet can see the stitch and the chain 3 you don't do the chain 3 just this one and you finish your round here like this and then continue the round 18 again the same thing and then go to the 19 and continue <coughs> so I actually did two rounds of single crochet instead of one it's up to you you can keep one or two and then this part you can try if it fits or not and all the way 
it will be a little bit stretchy so it's gonna go all the way so you're gonna sew this in later so you have to make two of these and this and you're gonna have a few obviously this and if you see my one is just the size of it now I'm gonna sew the ends and that's it You can see I've joined one part and I'm going to show you how I did with the second one. So here you go. And I've used a white yarn to join and I did by slip, uh, sorry, by single crochet <coughs> all the way. So find the first stitch here. The single crochet. Insert your hook and here the first stitch here of the green yarn. Take your white yarn and join and Fasten it. Now you have to continue joining all the so going into the next stitch. So you go in the next and go into so we're gonna single crochet all the way around. You could slip stitch as well, but I'm gonna single crochet. So now you have to go into the next. This is the chain three, you can see. And single crochet. And now we've got the, this first stitch here. And we're gonna single crochet. So as you progress here, you can check if you're doing it right or not. Like it should fit. So and then continue slip stitching. So here you go. Go to both loops and then find the one here and single crochet. And again, next one. Go into the next and single crochet. Then go into the next. You notice for each of these double crochet we're doing two stitches so two stitches will go in two of these double crochet in each of these double crochet so go into the next stage and then the next double crochet and then so here you go the to look something like this and then you can check mm. so if it's too much then you can obviously adjust and here we go perfect so you need to slip stitch all the way around and I'll be back with this done So I'm done joining the ends. You can see. So now I'm gonna sew in the zipper. There is two ways to do it. If you check my video, the round body pencil case, in that one I did. Uh, I did just by sewing in but there's another way to do it which I'm gonna show you now so just follow me and check it out
going to show you how to join this zipper to to the actual bag so I'm going to take a smaller hook this is a three millimeter hook and I'm going to take the red yarn so go into the first one here or even the first one, like this one the corner one and take your zipper to this side insert into the there like this and take your yarn and join it it will be harder first few stitches and here we go do like this and join to join it and make it firm going to the next here going to next gap like this next stitch and slip stitch so it's going to be slip stitching going to the next stitch and here again insert like this take your yarn go and slip stitch so again I've slip stitched go and continue because I did the exact amount of the stitches 28 and some stitches might be harder so taking a smaller one make space and continue and you'll be able to see that and you can continue all the way finished joining now it's, that's it it works perfectly <clears throat> you can see the joints so now I'm gonna weave in all the ends you can see so what I'm gonna do open it use my hook and like this and like this so do it all of these weave ends Try to draw them inside. Mm -hmm. And continue with all of them. And then we bend obviously. That's the end result. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thanks again.